Hello, welcome to Cloud Channel. In this module, we will learn how to design a system for loan credit risk with Azure SQL database. In this module, I will cover topics including the list of components that we need to design uh, this loan credit risk, credit risk with Azure SQL database. And also I will discuss the steps involved in this architecture. And I will also talk about the, the solution details and business perspective, and also the data scientist perspective. And I will do this uh, exercise in Lucid chart. Uh, in my previous module, I was just uh, uh, keeping the architecture in the PowerPoint presentation, but in this module, uh, I will show you how to design using Lucid chart. A uh, Lucid chart is an online tool. Uh, you can get it for free, like you know, for some, but not all the features available with the the free version. But if you want more features, you can also uh, upgrade. But I'll show you how to design using that Lucid chart. Yeah. I opened a Lucid chart. Here you can see on my screen. But before I start uh, design this architecture, let me quickly review what we're doing here. So by using Azure SQL database or Azure SQL server, or maybe later with machine learning services, a lending institution can use predictive analytics to reduce the number of loans that they offer to borrowers who are most likely to default, increasing the profitability of their loan portfolio. And the list of components that we need to design this architecture, we need Azure SQL database, and we need uh, Power BI, and also we need Azure Machine Learning. Uh, unless, like you know, if you have an, another tool that you can uh, use Python or R to build your models and connect to Azure SQL database. So let me start with Azure SQL database here. So our first component is Azure SQL database. I will just look for Azure icons here. So I will drag it here. This is our first component that we need to build this design. So now I have Azure SQL database, SQL database. And my second step, second component that I need. So we can choose uh, any any tool that where you can uh, use your Python or R language to build the model. So that is our second component. And again, we need um, Azure. So I will just copy here and keep it here. And I, I will talk about the step-by-step -step process once I gather all the list of components that we need. And we need a Power BI. So I mentioned that we need Azure Machine Learning also, but it's your choice, like, you know, how you want to connect to, how you want to build your model either other tool or using Azure Machine Learning. So I will discuss about that uh, in in few minutes. Okay, so now I have all the list of, of components that I need to build this uh, design. So now our first step is to connect. This is our step one. So let me put this step one. And before I start about this data flow, I will quickly uh, note down here the list of components that we need. A list of components. So Azure SQL database. And we need machine learning. Machine learning services. And third, we need Power BI. These are all the list of components that we need. And let me talk about uh, what this Azure SQL database does. So this Azure SQL database stores the lender and borrower data. So our based analytics provide 
training and predicted models and predicted results for consumption. And let's talk about the, the data science virtual missions. The data science virtual missions provides an interactive dashboard with visualization that uses data stored in SQL database, they use SQL database to drive decisions on prediction. It also provides other tools that are commonly used for data science application. The last component is Power BI. So here you can see that Power BI. The Power BI provides an interactive dashboard with visualization that uses data stored in Azure SQL database to drive decisions on predictions. And uh, let me just say here, instead of machine learning, I will just say data science virtual machine. So now we have the list of components that we need to design this architecture and we kept all the, the components on the, on the design here. So let me start with the step one. In the step one, we connect our data source and use our preferred IDE to develop a Python or R models. So we can use either if you are comfortable with Python, you can build the model with Python. Or uh, if you are comfortable with the R or any other language, so you can use it and you can connect to Azure SQL Data Warehouse. And our second step, let me just connect the second step. So this is our second step. So that is our second step. So here is the step two. So what do we do in step two? So we connect to, in step one, we connect to our data source that is Azure SQL database. And step two, when our model is ready, we can publish it to Azure SQL data warehouse, SQL data warehouse or Azure SQL database. So we can publish our model into Azure SQL database. And the third step, connect this to Power BI. So our third step, let me just add step three here. And once our model is stored in Azure SQL database, and we can visualize data in Power BI. So the Power BI we use for data visualization. So we have our model is available in Azure SQL database. And now we can connect to Azure SQL database and visualize our data in Power BI. So these are the steps that involve to design loan credit risk with the Azure SQL database. So I will talk about the solution details. So if we had a crystal ball that we would only loan money to someone we knew they would pay back to us. So any lending institutions can make use of this predictive analytics to reduce the number of loans that they offer to those borrowers most likely to default increasing the profitability of their loan portfolio. So this solution uses simulated data for a small personal loan financial in institutions or even medium personal loan financial institutions, building a model to help detect whether the borrower will default on a loan or not. And also let me talk about the alternatives. If you don't want to use this Azure SQL database, you can replace with any other data source. So you can use Azure SQL Server, SQL Server, managed instances, or any other source. But this uh, design that I'm talking about, designed with Azure SQL database, so you can use any uh, other data source if you want. You can just replace here in the step one and also replace here in step two. And also here you can use uh, data science virtual missions, but 
If you want to manage your model in a fully functional workspace, you can also deploy it to an Azure Machine Learning workspace. Let me say the alternatives uh, I will mention at the end of the, the tutorial. You can use alternative Azure uh, SQL Server Managed Instances instead Azure SQL Database. Um, in step two, you can use Azure Machine Learning Workspace. So if you want to manage your model in uh, in fully functional workspace. And Power BI tool, you can use any other tool, but uh, Power BI is Microsoft Visualization tool. So you can use Power BI, but you can also use any other third-party BI tools. So let me talk about the business perspective here. Business users review the predicted scores to help them determine whether to grant a loan. And they fine tune predictions by using the Power BI dashboard to see the number of loans and the total dollar amount saved under different scenarios. The, the dashboard includes a filter based on percentiles of the predicted score. So you can use, uh, you can, there are a lot of filters available in Power BI, but uh, if you have any questions how to use this Power BI, please go to my channel. So I build some dashboards, connect to web or connect to different, different source systems and how to access that data and how to create the dashboards and how to apply the filters and how to create a uh, pie charts or bar charts. And please go to my channel and uh, look for Power BI uh, video modules. So let me come back to business perspective. So the dashboard that I just discussed, it includes a filter based on percentiles of the predicted scores. When all the values are selected, the business users view all the loans in the testing sample and can inspect information about how many, how many of them defaulted. So then they can check just the top percentile and they drill down to information about loans with the predicted score in the top 1%. So this is a business perspective. Let me talk about data scientist perspective. So before I go to uh, data scientist perspective, so let me quickly review the steps involved in the data flow here. So I will just write the data flow. And step one, let me just write a step one. So step one, we know we connect to our, uh, our source system. So it could be, Azure SQL database, or if you want to use uh, SQL Server Managed Instances, that's fine. But here in this uh, design, uh, I'm using Azure SQL database and connect to data source, that is. So here, the step one. So connect to our data source. So our data source here is Azure SQL database. Azure SQL database. Yeah, again, Azure, Azure SQL data warehouse or SQL database, same. And Azure SQL database, of course, like, you know, you can use dedicated pool, or you can also use serverless, anything, but that's a different uh, discussion. And let me talk about step two. So what is step two? When our model is ready, and our model is ready and we can publish it to Azure SQL database. Publish it to Azure SQL database. And step three here, once our model is ready and we can connect to uh, Azure SQL database and visualize our data in Power BI connect to Azure SQL database and visualize our data in Power BI. So here you can see that the step one, step two, step three. So here in the script, right, uh, you may have a question. You can use um, a Python or R to build models. You can use any of the, the language that you are comfortable. So I'll say model. And here I'll say this is a data source. And this is preferred IDE or editor. 
And this is once we build the model and we publish it, uh, we send it to Azure SQL database to store the model. I will say model publishing and Power BI we use for data visualization. So data visualizations. So we now we have all the steps covered in this design. So our step one, our data source, that is Azure SQL Data Warehouse, and we connect to our data source and bring the data and we use our preferred editor and we use our preferred language to build the model. Once we build the model and we publish it to Azure SQL database, and our, the model is ready, publish it to Azure SQL database. That's our second step. And the third step, connect to Azure SQL database and visualize the data in Power BI. And here you can see that list of components uh, that required to design this loan credit risk with Azure SQL database architecture. So let me talk about the data scientist perspective. Azure SQL database or any other SQL Server managed instances, they bring the compute to the data by running R or Python on the computer that hosts the database. It includes a database service that runs outside the Azure SQL database process and communicates securely with the R or Python runtime. So these solutions walks through the steps to create, refine the data and try your R or Python models and perform scoring on the Azure SQL database. So the final score database table in Azure SQL database gives a predicted score for each potential borrower. And you can visualize the data later in Power BI. So once you have your models ready and you have the final score database table available in your SQL database, you can use Power BI to connect and visualize the data. So data scientists, uh, they are interesting and in developing solution and can work from the convenience of their uh, a preferred ID uh, or client mission while publishing the compute to the Azure SQL database. And I covered all, all the components and all the steps involved. And also I covered solution details, business perspective and data scientist perspective in this module. But if you have any questions on designing this loan credit risk with Azure SQL database, if you have any questions on the list of components that we use, or if you have any questions, the steps involved in this data flow, and please do not hesitate. Please uh, feel free to post all your questions in, in the comment section, and I will try to reply as soon as possible. So before I end this session, let me quickly review what we discussed uh, in this module. So in this module, we discussed how to design a loan credit risk with SQL, uh, SQL database architecture in Azure. And we discussed the list of components that involved in this uh, design. And we discussed about the, the, the steps involved in the data flow. And we also discussed the solution detail and the business perspective. And also we discussed um, from data scientist perspective. Like I mentioned, if you have any questions on this architecture or design list of components, please post all your comment, all your questions in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.